My name is Omar Mohamedi. I was born in Algeria. I'm an attorney uh, in New York. Hello. How are you? Most of my uh, litigation practice is civil right and employment discrimination. After 2001, most of the cases were based on uh, Islam, religion. See this one here? Yeah. It's really, the, this case is really on point with this, with this uh, legal theory. My first big case was the Amadou Diallo case. It was an African that uh, was shot by NYPD 41 times. That was in 1999. In 2002, uh, May and Bloomberg appointed me as a New York City Commission on Human Rights, trying to explain to the communities, different communities, the rights, human rights, New York City human rights law, which is the, 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 the oldest and most comprehensive human rights law in the country. Being a lawyer, there are challenges without Ramadan. There are long hours during the day that you do work, 14 to 16 hours a day. But when Ramadan comes, then you have to give another 16 hours of your spiritual life. So there are 32 hours. You cannot put them in 24 hours. Ramadan is time of reflection. It's not time of socializing. So you have all of these iftar dinners that you are invited to, you go to. And, um, and you try to make sure that your Ramadan does not become a social event, because it's not. We are Americans with the Muslim identity. We are almost 8 million Muslims living in this country, so we have to have our own scholars decide when Eid and when, when is Ramadan, not Saudi Arabia or other Muslim countries. So I'm coming here to pray Jumu'ah fasting, but believing that some other people are not fasting, are having Eid today. I have to go back to another mosque where I can pray during Jumu'ah. <laughs> That's diversity. <laughs> The most diverse community in this country is, is our Muslims. So think about it. It's the United States of America. 